this oxidizes and then this will get crud and crap on it and you don't want to push it down into your repair job. You know different than you know making sure your bondo's not contaminated if you're mixing plastic. So it's always good to have a little lacquer thinner around. Lacquer thinner is the best for it's nice, it's good and aggressive. Please store bondo. Be sure to Clean both all surfaces with lacquer thinner before you start. Yep, put here nice and clean. You don't have to do any like a metal hatch or anything on the metal or you know what? We used to use muriatic acid, but that was like if we had bad like this crap, mm -hmm. you know you'd clean it the best you could, but then you could you could etch it with muriatic acid and heat to clean it off. So like I said before, the fumes are so hard on all the bare metal stuff in your shop that you don't you know that you just you want to avoid it. It isn't necessary. This has got more than enough bite and tooth in it. But like right here, see this area? I left a little primer. I left a little primer here. Maybe even a little bit in here. And this, that, that's you got to be careful of those areas. I mean, the solder's not going to stick to that. It needs to bear up. Because the first thing we're going to do, we're going to heat this panel, and then we're going to tin it. I mean, we're going to flux it and then tin it. So, uh, like I said, I usually use a liquid solder. So we'll work our way through this butter. Uh, I've used this butter in the past, and I said I don't, I don't care for it because I want it to be. I want my, uh, I don't want a lot of flux all over my stuff, and the butter tends to be a little thick. What happens then is you, you end up pouring a lot of heat on your panel to get that flux to convert so that you can tin it. The liquid.